We are back with our health lead now, and after fierce backlash for allegedly putting profits well over people, the maker of the life-saving allergy medication known as EpiPens said that it would now slash the price by issuing coupons covering, they say, up to $300 for patients in health plans that have high out-of-pocket costs. EpiPens used by people with severe allergies during some of the most de desperate moments in their lives. Mylan Pharmaceuticals increased the price of a pair of them from just around $100 in 2009 to as much as six times that today. Joining me now is CNN Money correspondent Christina Aleshi. Uh, so, Christina, more than three million Americans, they carry them around. My sister is one of them. They depend on them. Do these coupons actually solve the problem? They solve the problem at the fringe, right? Mm -hmm. And this is how it works. Basically, if you have an out-of-pocket expense of about $300, mm -hmm. you're going to get the drug for free because it's a $300. From your health plan. It's a $300 credit, right? It also, this company also says that it's going to be expanding an assistance program. So if you're a family of four making less than $97,000 a year, you'll get the drug for free. And it also says that it's planning ways to sell to customers directly. But to your point, these savings cards, these coupons, don't apply to programs like Medicare and Medicaid. Mm -hmm. Critics say that still means that taxpayers are bearing the brunt of these high prices because at the end of the day, you're not reducing the price of the drugs. And that is at the core of what is going on because all pharmaceutical companies have been, you know, when their products are in high demand, they increase prices. I mean, even if the healthcare plan's paying for it, someone's paying for it, right? Because you got to pay into it. Uh, Heather Bresch, she's Myland CEO. She's actually the daughter of Joe Manchin, Democratic senator from West Virginia. Uh, filings show that her compensation doubled since 2012, of course, as the drug price was going up. What's been her response? Her response is it's not our fault. Mm -hmm. It's Congress's fault. She vaguely you know, blames this system where middlemen take a cut of the profits, right? Mm -hmm. But. The bottom line is if they want to fix this problem, the buck stops with them, right? Because you can't rely on Congress. That's going to take an immense amount of time. We've seen the holdups there. If they want to address this problem, they could take some money out of their profit margins, right. which on this drug, I think we have it on a full screen, have increased substantially from nine percent yeah. from nine percent to about fifty five percent nine percent two thousand eight to fifty five percent and like I said look this is not uncommon this is an industry practice and that is why it's beginning to be going to become a political issue over the next couple of months no question Christina Leshy thanks very much